oh, I'm excited about it. I, I love getting older because I say, if this is getting older, bring it on. I want more of it. I always knew that the human body was just a very, very complex uh, machine. And so uh, to me, I wanted to get as much data as I could out of my body to treat it like I did when I was uh, performance tuning operating systems or databases or applications. So the engineer's mindset. Oh, I was horrified. I thought, oh gosh, I'm going to die young. <laughs> I thought I was doing everything right at that point. That's, uh, that's really what spurred me on to learn as much as I could about cellular biology and figure out why I was aging so quickly. I did a lot of that myself, so I know, I know the feeling. Um, I used to have to set a timer to get myself to get up and move every so often, because movement is so important. Um, you know, our cells are living creatures and they have to excrete their waste. So when they, when they do, it just goes out their membrane um, into the interstitial fluid. And interstitial fluid and lymph don't move unless you move. So you have to be moving all the time to clear waste away from your cells. Otherwise, you're just poisoning yourself with your own excrement, basically. Oh, 100%, yes. Everything I do in biohacking is very engineer-driven. So it's data-driven, I do a lot of testing. Can't guess, you have to know for sure. My typical day recently hasn't been so typical, just because I've been working a lot with uh, AI on a whole new supplement uh, protocol. But normally that would be um, you know, waking up first thing, getting very uh, early sunlight, um, immediately bouncing on my rebounder to get the lymphatic system moving. Uh, I invert, I do have like an inversion table that I hang upside down, it stretches out the spine, is good for blood, for blood flow to the brain and the rest of the body. Um, I, I do you know, some other workouts, I do a sauna after the workouts. Um, my workouts might be running or it might be um, um, you know, weight lifting of that type. Yeah, and then I do the sauna, shower, go about my day. And then um, later in the evening, it's, I do some red light. Um, I put on blue blocking glasses and try to uh, relax and then uh, go to bed early. Enjoyment of life. To me, that's key. Calorie restriction is joyless. <laughs> to me, it seems that way. And I don't think it's necessary because from what I've seen with, um, in competition with the, the billionaire on the Rejuvenation Olympics, that I've been able to get just as good of, uh, if not better, um, pace of aging than he does and I'm not doing the caloric restriction. Sure, I mean, uh, initially I was very concerned because people would say that you're gonna ruin your liver or your kidneys by doing that. So that's why testing is so important. I test uh, my blood every month and you know, liver and kidney markers are definitely included. And I take a lot of supplements that are supportive of both the liver and the kidneys. So um, my markers for those are, are just fine. And now I'm up to close to 200 supplements a day and it's still not a problem. Yeah, so back in the day before we had consumer-driven tests where we could you know, bring our, do our own blood labs or um, check our own uh, mineral status, they used to say that everybody needs calcium, that we're low on calcium. So I used to take a calcium supplement. I didn't realize I didn't need that because I was getting plenty of calcium in, with green leafy vegetables and nuts and seeds. Um, so <laughs> it wasn't until I could finally do a, um, well, this was a hair tissue mineral analysis that I did that showed me that calcium was building up very strong in my tissues. And I was quite concerned because that can cause heart issues, um, all kinds of problems. So then I went to go see a cardiologist and did several tests with him just to make sure that I didn't damage my heart in any way. And thankfully I did not. I caught it early enough that I was able to stop the calcium supplementation. So yeah, it's, if you're not aware of what you're doing, you can actually cause some problems. It's a great question. Yeah, so I've been working for the last two months with various AIs, uh, ChatGPT, Claude, Gemini, Grok, uh, Perplexity. I'm building an entirely new supplement protocol for myself because I realized that my current, well, I should say previous protocol uh, was built for simplicity, not necessarily uh, scientifically based. And I knew there was a lot of confliction uh, of action, mechanism of action, and uh, absorption with the way I had it before. So now, thanks to AI, I have, I'm able to um, separate my supplements. There's some that have to be taken with food, some on an empty stomach, some with fat. I'm doing some that are mTOR inducers during the week and autophagy inducers during the weekends. 
and then pushing different markers to be in the, not the reference range, but the optimal range for an 18 to 25 year old athlete, then I'll change my supplementation up, the dosages and the things that I'm taking. And constantly, uh, since I uh, do blood labs every month, I'm able to uh, readjust each month based on what I see in the blood labs. I, I blood test every month. I do every type of functional test that I can to make sure that everything that I'm doing is uh, moving in the right direction, uh, especially the direction of youth, not the direction of age. So the blood testing, I'll do urine testing, um, you know, the proteomics, I'll do uh, you know, full, full genome sequencing, uh, all the epigenetics, uh, you know, DEXA scans, uh, MRIs, I mean, you name it. I, I try to do all of it to cover all my bases. Yeah, I have to go back to my very first purchase. I think my sauna is my favorite uh, device. I get the most out of the sauna. It's, it's been great. I mean, the sweating is good. You sweat out toxins. It's good for heat shock proteins. Um, it's just really great overall. It's great for your skin. Sauna has so many benefits. I could probably speak for an hour on just the benefits of sauna. Donating blood is a, it's a great thing. It's good for your health. Um, so it's also good for the, the world, right? You're helping your fellow man with blood donations. Um, for me, you know, blood donations uh, were not frequent enough because you can only, in the States anyway, you can only donate every 56 days. Um, platelets you can donate once a month and plasma you can donate twice a week. And so um, as far as uh, cleaning out your plasma, like plasmapheresis, plasma donations for me were more beneficial because I could go through more of my blood volume in a shorter period of time than if I just did whole blood donations. Definitely go for the fundamentals. Um, the fundamentals are not sexy, they're kind of boring, but we're talking about uh, trying to avoid or eliminate uh, toxic exposure. We're talking about uh, getting very good nutrition, um, eating for maximal nutritional density, um, getting very good exercise, you know, movement is so important. And then you want restorative and regenerative sleep. And then, um, yeah, trying to avoid stress and practice gratitude. Those are the keys for longevity. It could be a tough balance. I like the self-discipline. For me, it's, it's fun. It's not a chore. It's not hard. I just, I try to make the self-discipline easy. I have habits and routines, and I just build those in so I don't have to think about them. It's just part of my normal everyday, you know, life. And so then that frees me up to go out and enjoy with friends and, and really live life rather than be miserable and always have to, you know, stay home. You can't go out with friends because you have to do your biohacking. I figure at the end of my life, I don't want to look back on my life and say, oh gosh, you know, if only I had skipped going out with my friends so I could do one more workout. No, I'm not going to say that. I would say the opposite, if anything. It'd be why did I waste all that time uh, doing a workout or doing some biohack when I could have been connecting with other people? Um, because the, it's the people in our life, it's the connections that we make. That's what's truly important about living.